think this cyber attack is the largest that we've ever seen in terms of ransomware. Ransomware is where you receive something on your computer, typically through email, that locks up and encrypts your files, the computer, or perhaps a server sitting behind it. We've seen bigger cyber attacks globally, however, this seems to be the biggest ransomware attack that has ever hit uh, around the world. It's unclear at the moment who is behind this attack, and this is one of the biggest challenges in cybercrime generally. Attribution, who did it, is always the biggest difficulty. There are so many ways now that individuals, organised crime groups, even nation states, can hide who they are and where they've come from. So you can be guaranteed that law enforcement globally, from the US through to Russia and China, are working their hardest to try and identify who the criminals behind this actually are. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime has the diplomatic, policy and technical assistance leadership on countering organised cybercrime around the world. I run the global programme on cybercrime and my staff are based in Guatemala, El Salvador, Tunisia and Thailand. And through these strategic locations we can reach out to our partners around the world, helping police, prosecutors and judges to run the best investigations possible to counter threats just like these. But it's not just about ransomware, it's about helping to keep people safe online. We often hear that the public, that people, are the highest risk of cybercrime. People click on emails, people go onto websites that are infected, people put USB sticks into machines without thinking. However, if we help people, if we help them to prevent crime, train, educate about what that risk looks like, people can be our strongest asset. People are the first line of defence, and through our program, we're reaching out to the public around the world to help them becoming, prevent becoming victims of cybercrime.